Hello, my name is Jack Roach and I'm part of Team 51 and I'm here to introduce the Robotics Challenge. Um, using a Palulu 3 Pi robot um, and that we would program with Arduino, uh, we had to perform three tasks. One was a light chaser, uh, the second was a line follower and the third was to get the robot to balance on a seesaw. Um, we had to integrate two components when doing this challenge, both hardware and software. And the goals of the, uh, the tasks were to turn off lights one, two, and three in the uh, light chase, and then f f to get the robot to transition to the line, then follow the line up until the seesaw, um, transition into the seesaw and balance on the seesaw for five seconds. In terms of roles and responsibilities, Ron Elwood was the main programmer. Um, Leanne Cochran was the co-programmer. I was in charge of soldering and also, so was Connor Hussey, and then we all tested it together. Various different um, software that we had to put on this uh, Poo 3 Pi robot. Um, uh, there was a lot of coding to be done. There was three light chasing codes to be done, a line follower code, and a balancer code, each uh, performing a different task for uh, the throughout the course. Um, for the hardware, um, we needed to solder wires, LDRs, an accelerometer, and resistors all onto um, the prototyping board that you see here in the presentation slide. Um, we tackled each of these issues as they came and hopefully as best we could. Um, we started off by um, soldering in and writing out code for the light sensors. Um, um, and once that was done and we were happy with that and happy with how it turned out, we wrote in code for um, the black line and uh, um, so that we could uh, form the line follower portion of the, uh, the course. Um, after that, we needed to solder more um, components onto the board, uh, like the accelerometer, so that um, we could test um, the gradient on which the robot was standing and that we could actually do the uh, seesaw part of the course. Uh, hi, my name is Leanne Coughlin. I'm here to talk about the challenges we face in the robot challenge. Um, we're Team 51. Um, first of all, we had a problem with our LDRs and they weren't soldered on properly, so we had to redo that. And that caused a lot of problems in their light uh, chaser, as the LDRs were reading incorrect values. Um, secondly, um, the LERs that we um, soldered onto the prototyping board weren't even. So that could mean one LDR was giving diff vast different readings to the other LDRs, so that was affecting our results. And I kept, our robot kept turning to the left for, for most of the time. Um, a second problem that we encountered was uh, soldering on the accelerometer. Um, I accidentally pinned it on, or soldered onto the wrong pin, so that affected our results. Um, we also found the transitioning between tasks difficult. Um, we uh, were unable to merge the code using switch case as we did not understand it and we did not ask for help. Uh, if we were to do it again, we would uh, build a better communication with the lecturers and the TAs. Um, on the day, the line follower didn't work um, as the courses were different because there were two courses that we were testing on, and it worked on one, but it didn't work on the course that the actual test was being on. At the end of the test, we scored a final score of 9 out of 15. Um, we got the light follower, and we also got the seesaw to work. Um, however, we didn't get the line follower to work, uh, because um, although it did work on the other course, the course on which it was being tested um, was different, and it did not work. Um, we uh, did not get any of the transitions done successfully um, because we couldn't figure out the code. Um, if we were to do this again, we would definitely try and have a better method for um, transitioning between the functions and between the tasks. Um, we would have done this by maybe asking the TAs about how we could have done this. We could have done neater wiring and soldering so we didn't waste all that time. Uh, when um, the accelerometer or when the LDRs were not correctly attached. And we would have, um, 
yeah, we would have done more testing to uh, to help the robot adapt or to for to help us adapt the robot um, to different uh, courses. Uh, thank you. <laughs>